All right, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, I'm actually super excited because I love opening up figure arts. I think they look so cool. Like, I really like these figures. I like them way better than Moffix, and I know they're on the same kind of level with the articulation. I'll explain more about that later. But this is the box. It looks cool. This figure is of my favorite Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. I love it. I mean, I had so much fun with it, posing him. It's like I, I don't think I've had that much fun posing a figure in a long time. So everything about him is not the best, and I'll explain to you. But the figure, Spider-Man, this looks cool. His butt looks kind of weird, but I'll forgive it. So let's start with his head. The eyes, they have a really nice reflective paint. I really like that. I love the texture in the sculpt. I mean, you can practically see the little bumps and grooves and you can see everything, right? Right there. You compare that to a Moffax, man, their stuff is not nearly as textured, not nearly as nice. It's not even painted as nice. I can't find a single flaw in all of this and I look through him completely. So you get three head sculpts. This is the first one, which is also my favorite because it's the Spider-Man one. It looks just like what I remember in the movie. I'm sure that if you put a movie poster or a movie frame compared to this, maybe you'll find a little bit of a difference, but damn, he looks good. This is the second head sculpt. I am not a fan of this. <laughs> he looks kind of funny, you know? Like, he almost looks like he's in uh, Spider-Man 3. If they change his hair up a little bit, maybe uh, slicked it back, darkened it a little bit, he would look like that Spider-Man where he's, like, venomized or he's getting venomized. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. Do you guys like this? And then his third head sculpt is another one of Tobey Maguire, which looks, just looks goofy. I don't know. I don't, I don't love it, but I'll take it, you know, I'll take it. But I'm never going to display him with his Tobey Maguire face. I might take a picture or two here and there, like in the future where I have some ideas, like a multiversal Spider-Man picture. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, I don't really have a lot of plans to use this face at all. So the first head sculpt, the masked one, has its own peg. But this, the faces, the, the human faces, Tobey Maguire faces, you have to take them off the peg. So yeah, you have to share. And it works. It took me a second to figure that out. All right, so now let's talk about his hands. Dude, this looks so good. I mean, this is a video, but can you imagine how cool it's gonna look when I take photos of him? The gunmetal gray looks freaking cool. This is his first pair of hands. Uh, it, they're the standard punching hands that every figure needs to have. I want you to appreciate here the slight texture in the webbing around his hands and the little bumps and, and detail on his actual glove i mean dude that you don't show me a moffex that does that i mean granted okay look i'm coming to you from the perspective of a person that loves figures all right but i am not a seasoned pro like some of you guys out there what i am bringing to this table here is the ability to be able to show you my figures in such a way that i don't think i've seen online i want you to see the detail i want you to appreciate it and and i feel like i bring that i'm bringing that to the table here so when i say i haven't seen other moffexes do that it's because it's true. I haven't seen. Look at the detail. Compare that to one of your Moffix right now. And tell me this is not better than that. This is his fourth pair of hands. Thumbs up. Look how many hands you get. We're on the fourth one. And I'm here going off on Moffix, you know. He's got a ton. Moffix doesn't give you that many. This guy, this figure, Tobey Maguire figure, he's got a ton of them. And I really like this thumbs up, by the way. So for his fifth pair of hands, these are his web shooting hands. I think he does that, right? I looks really cool. He could also be throwing up some gang signs. That could be something. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. I just really cannot get over the fact that this looks so detailed, man. I, I think this is my one of my favorite Spider-Man now. Seriously. I could pose him in all kinds of ways, and I have these ideas right now to have him fighting all kinds of characters, and I cannot wait to do that. 
I'm a dumbass. His six pair of hands, he looks like he's saying stop, which you can also have him do, right? But duh, these are his wall crawling hands. It would have been cool though to put a little magnet on these, to you know, put them on your fridge, or maybe not because your kids would take them. And that's these are your toys, goddammit, not theirs. Okay, so let's move on to the accessories, which he's only got a few. It's okay. He's got the webbing. He has to have webbing. What else is he going to have? A sword? A gun? No. He has webbing. The webbing goes on his wrist peg right there, as you can see. These are the smaller wedding uh, webbings. <laughs> they look really cool. So speaking of weddings, I should be editing one right now, but I'm not. I'm doing this. Uh, I really like how this looks. It's easy to put on. It didn't take that much to figure out how to do this. So yeah, uh, now that you see this, now you know how to put on the webbing, but he's got a longer one. This one's a little different. So he's got a specific hand for this where you can kind of stick it into his hand and you can do that. I actually like this longer one because I feel like you can get more picture opportunities because it's longer. You can shoot the webbing out of frame and it looks like it's actually holding on to something. You don't have to Photoshop anything because it's out of the frame, you know? The smaller ones that he's got, I wish they made them a little bit bigger. That would have been cool. So he's got this. If you guys remember from the movie, he gave up being Spider-Man and he threw his mask away. That's pretty cool. So let's move on to the articulation. He's got a head and neck ball joint, which allows him to just move up and down. Look, he's got all kinds of joints here, all right? He moves in such a way, unlike any other character, seriously. Uh, he can move in any direction. His arms swivel, his waist swivels. I mean, just take a look, dude. There is nothing that you can't do with Spider-Man. Just your imagination is the limit here, because he can do everything. He can move his arms. I mean, dude, he's, look at that. That is freaking nice. His arms do look a little slender for my taste, but nah, he's cool. I mean, Tobey Maguire wasn't like overly buffed, so I think that's pretty good. So he can basically do the splits, maybe not quite. Maybe he should have been able to do this a little bit better, but I can forgive that because, damn it, he can move in any other way you want him to move. He's got this going on. His knee can bend that much. He can do a lot. His... <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That's crazy, right? He's got the toe articulation. I mean, he's got it all. Comparisons. This is next to a Cyclops Moffex and Storm Moffex. I am putting these two up against them so you can see. Look at the close-ups of Cyclops and Storm. They're painted nicely, I think. They're a little sloppy at times, but they're painted nice enough. But look at the texture on... Spider-Man. And before you say one is a comic version and one is a movie version, there is nothing to say that a comic version can't be textured. All right. He's drawn all kinds of ways. I just, that's the way I feel. Maybe you feel differently and that's okay. Everybody's got an opinion, right? That's, this is my opinion. And I photographed him with these wires. When you move him around, you can stick these wires in his butt and this and that, and then Photoshop him out. Photoshop them out. I am about to uh, edit this photo to use as my thumbnail. And I put him in this ridiculous pose with his hands. He would never swing like this, or maybe he would. But I think it looks freaking cool, man. This, this, I really have fun with this. And that's really what it's about, right? Looking cool and having fun with the figure. And to me, this hits all the marks. So I recommend this a lot. So I'm a big advocate for getting them in Japan even because they're cheaper, you know? But I couldn't find them cheaper. Some of you are more savvy when it comes to that. You've mentioned a bunch of places that I've never heard about. But yeah, I found them for more expensive. Although this is a limited edition, I'm not sure what makes it limited edition. But yeah, might as well just order this online in the US. And again, Entertainment Earth never fails to not have a goddamn thing in stock. You can get him for 90 bucks though. Not right now. You'll have to order him and then whenever they get one, you know, you'll get it. Amazon does tend to have the figures that I want anyways pretty consistently. And he's 90 bucks and he's free shipping. So, you know, it's kind of like a no-brainer for me. Big Bad Toy Stores got him, although he's five bucks more expensive, but he has them now, you know? I would just get them on Amazon, to tell you the truth. 
But look, guys, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me when you comment. It actually makes me feel good, and I can't wait to reply to you. So please go ahead and do that. Um, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.